So as promised, it is time for our daily dose of Key Entra News with Walter Lee. So let's start off with some Blackpink news. That's right. So Blackpink's Jenny has just released her music video named Mantra. Uh, it went live on October 11th at 9 a.m. And her, uh, that was, it was actually on her official YouTube. And this is actually the first single she has released since the 2023's You and Me. And also after signing with the US label uh, Columbia Records as well. Oh, and I believe the song is in English, right? It's all in English, so yes. It's uh, going to be great for all the global fans. And also you, Walter, told me that you were so eagerly waiting for that release. I w I've set an alarm. I was ready for for it. Um, the music video was amazing. Bef people in the chat were going absolutely nuts. And we're I mean, actually seeing the video right now here. Yes, we yeah. are. And before the video even aired, there was a hundred thousand people or more that were just waiting on the video itself. So I can imagine that number <laughs> yeah. has gone up and up. Yeah. And do you also have some K-movie news for us, Walter? Yes, we do. So moving on to K-movie news now, with the successful screening at the Busan International uh, Film Festival, Uprising will be available for Netflix subscribers to enjoy from the 11th of October. I believe that this movie was also the opening movie for a Biff. Mm. Uh, but for some of our viewers who might not be familiar of it yet, uh, can you tell us more about the contents, the plot? Yes, yeah, so Uprising, which uh, has the Korean title Cheonglan, uh, stars Kang Dong-won and pa Park Jong-min and is set during the chaotic times of the Japanese uh, invasion of Korea. This is going way back. Now it tells the story of chong yo the son of the most prestigious military family Family in Joseon and his servant Chon Yong, who uh, was once uh, friends during, they were once friends during their childhood, but they reunite together in their adulthood, and now they're actually sort of enemies. One as a royal military officer, and the other as a righteous army volunteer. That sounds like a very interesting movie. I'm going to put that uh, on my list. Yes. And uh, we're going to go back to K music news. What is the last piece of entry news you have? Yes, back to K music news. The pop rock band Day Six has garnered an impressive 340 million streams on Korean music streaming site, uh, uh, platform Melon this year alone. Now, a testament to the rising popularity of the band Day6. Mm. Definitely. I think they seem to be gaining more and more attention as the years go by. Yes, that's right. Now, they actually released two albums this year. One, Forever. Forever with a four. Oh, you mean Forever. With a Forever. Oh, okay, okay. And Band-Aid uh, have both surpassed one million streams, further solidifying their success. Now, in total, Day6 has actually streamed over a billion times uh, uh, on Melon, earning the place in a prestigious Billions Club. That's uh, incredible. It's incredible on Korea's leading music streaming platform, Melon, as we just mentioned before. Now, the band's chart success is led by popular tracks such as You Were Beautiful and Time of Our Life, uh, which have uh, seen a resurgence in the charts of this year. So many great hits by Day6. And yes. it's really great to see these bands like Day6 doing so well in Korea and beyond. Yeah. And uh, I know we will be focusing more on other Korean bands uh, and their influence in our future episode. Yes, I can't wait for that. And uh, for that, Walter, uh, thanks for that for now. Yes. Thanks.